Okay, so here's what blew me away. Mm -hmm. uh, our current era of like AI innovation could have only happened if a bunch of weird things just happened to happen at the same time. Okay, I'm listening. And so, uh, like clouds, they're amazing. Clouds make networks invisible. But before you had any of these, the, the hyperscalers, clouds, uh, like networks are so hard to set up. Like yeah. you would have like the network person, and all, all of a sudden it's like, network doesn't matter, it's, it, it's just invisible to you. Storage, storage used to be a really big problem. All of a sudden you have object storage on the cloud. You can like put as many files as you want, as big as you want. Yeah. Huge, huge change. Similarly, you had, so like, you know, when I, um, and there, there's so many tech, like, wrapped up in there, we were talking about Databricks earlier, you know, right. the, the ability to spin up a whole super cluster for like a short period of time. When we used to build supercomputers at the university, like, that was a, like, multiple year effort. Like, every day. Right. I, I helped startups spin up the amount of compute that was like compared to my research lab. And like that that tech to have all these computers be able to talk together, you have model parallelism, you have data parallelism, you have like all of these things which on their own are all very difficult problems at a community because they're just like, well if it works well at this scale, what if we just put like a hundred million dollars <laughs> <laughs> into it and just see what happens. What could go wrong? The, I mean, you would, when we were helping uh, uh, these companies build their models for the first time, like VCs couldn't even help uh, because they had this prior arrangement with their LPs where basically uh, they didn't have it written up in a way it's like, how do you, spend all this money just on infrastructure, like that's kind of a weird thing. So we would right. actually have to help startups get paired with family offices. Because like folks really? like John Carmack, Eric Schmidt, like these like other famous people, in order to be able to like build some of the first AI models that were out there, it wasn't until a little bit later that VCs figured out it's like, oh, okay, well we can come into this and then so it's like that exuberance to be able to try this at mesh and scale. So funded, to, really? to build foundation models at the very early days, there weren't VCs who could easily write, just write a check just for compute.